Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this lecture, I would like to explain another important concept based on the topic that is fixed beam carrying a point out at the center means slope and deflection for a fixed beam carrying a point out at the center. So already we discussed in the previous lecture that is what are the fixed moments for a fixed beam carrying a point out at the center. So that is fixed end moments. So MAB will be equal to minus WL by 8. In the same way MBA will be equal to plus WL by 8. At the same time I shown very clearly how to draw the bending moment diagram and shear force diagram and what are the reactions. So reaction at A will be equal to W by 2 and reaction at B will be equal to W by 2. So already we explained each and everything in a very clear concept and I also uploaded in the channel. So I gave that link also in the description. So you please see that video. So this is the continuation of that video that is slope and deflection for a fixed beam carrying a point load at the center. See here. See here. So reaction at A and B will be will equal to W by 2 and here on W by 2. MA will be equal to WL by 8. So which is acting anti-clockwise. So this one will be A, this one will be B and this one will be C. And here also MBA will be equal to which is plus WL by 8. So MAB will be equal to minus WL by 8. So minus indicates anti-clockwise. So no need to write mention minus here. So that is MAB will be equal to minus WL by 8. MBA will be equal to plus WL by 8. And reactions at A and B will be equal to W by 2 and W by 2. So here we are going to find the slope and deflection for a fixed beam carrying a point load at the center. So for that one what we have to do means consider a section xx in between A C at any distance x from A. So here what I am doing means here I am considering a section xx. So this is the section of xx considering so which is at a distance of x in AC we are considering a section xx at a distance of x from end A. Then resolve the movements up to the section x. So here all of us know that the reaction A will be there. Here it will be reaction B. So already I shown in the shear force diagram that is RA will be equal to W by 2 and also one more moment which is MA. So then bending movement at the section XX. See here. Take. Uh, so bending moment at section X will be equal to. Here this RA will be acting towards clockwise up to the section XX. That is RA into X. So force into distance. This RA into this distance X. And again anti-clockwise moment MA will be acting up to the section X that is minus MA. Okay. So we are considering bending moment at section XX. So then moment at X will be equal to that is RA into X and anti-clockwise moment minus WL by 8. So here MX means so already we solve some relations in the strength of materials that is the relation between curvature, slope and deflection. The relation between curvature, slope and deflection. So there we know that y equal to deflection and bending moment that is sorry slope will be equal to slope will be equal to dy by dx and again bending moment will be equal to d square y by dx square so in terms of ei so you will get this one based on the relation m by i equal to f by y and e by r so i am telling that the relation between curvature slope and deflection 
so in the in the strength of materials we solve these equations directly and again next one will be e i d cube y by d x cube will be equal to shear force and the last one e i d power 4 y to the power of d x power 4 so which is rate of loading okay so you please remember all these things directly so here i am considering bending moment will be equal to e i into d square y by d x square directly then solve that equation step by step so here e i into d square y by d x square and again what is this r a this r a will be equal to w by 2 into its distance x minus what is this m a m a will be equal to w l by 8 okay then we have to integrating this equation so apply integration integrating above equation so what you will get means so what you will get so e i into integral of d square y by dx square becomes dy by dx then w by 2 apply integration for x term that gives rise to x square by 2 which is x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 here power 1 will be there and minus w l by 8 integral of this term will becomes into x 1 becomes x here then plus c1 where c1 is the constant of integration okay then see here see here at x equal to 0 means at x equal to 0 at nda at nda both slope and deflection will becomes zero here you will get slope value dy by dx okay what i am telling means at x equal to 0 x equal to 0 means at a at a due to the fixed end slope becomes zero and also deflection also become zero therefore what happens so here we are considering at x equal to 0 at end a means slope also becomes zero due to the fixed end then if you apply both x equal to 0 and dy by dx means then automatically this c1 will becomes zero so x equal to 0 entire term will be zero and dy by dx means constant c1 will be equal to zero so then substitute the c1 equal to zero in the above equation then what happens that entire equation will becomes dy by dx equal to w by 2 into x square by 2 that becomes x w x square by 4 minus w l by 8 into x so take down this equation as a so e i dy by dx which becomes the slope of that particular equation so this equation becomes the slope of the line at any point on a beam okay then apply integration second time integrating the above equation then what happens e i dy by dx so this equation will become e i into y and again w by 4 x to the power of square that becomes x cube by 3 in the same format x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 Minus w l by 8, and again x to the power of 1 will becomes x square by 2. After applying integration, this equation will becomes x square by 2 plus c2, where this c2 will becomes is the constant of the integration. And again, already I told you at this point, at x equal to 0, both deflection and slope will becomes 0 due to the fixed end. Slope and deflection will becomes 0. Therefore. here also at x equal to 0 deflection also becomes 0 then therefore c2 also will becomes 0 here so take down c2 in this equation then the entire equation will becomes w by 4 into sorry w x cube by 12 
डब्ल्यू एल एक्स स्क्वायर बाई सिक्सटीन सो दिस इज दिस नेक्स्ट इक्वेशन टेक डाउन बी सो दिस इक्वेशन गिव्स द डिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ द बीम एट एनी पॉइंट डिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ द बीम एट एनी पॉइंट सो दिस इक्वेशन गिव्स द स्लोप एट एनी पॉइंट ऑन ए बीम दिस विल बी गिव्स ए डिफ्लेक्शन ऑट एनी पॉइंट ऑन ए बीम ओके सो दिस टू आर द इक्वेशन एंड नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज सो ऑलरेडी we people know that for a point load so exactly we will get maximum deflection under the load so deflection under the load is at a distance of l by 2 so which is at a distance of l by 2 so from here to here so take down x equal to l by 2 simplify this equation and write down here that is e i y that one will be equal to w x cube by 12 Minus W L X square by 16. So already I told you deflection maximum deflection of the beam. So maximum deflection of the beam, which is exactly under the load, that is exactly at the center, means at a distance of at x equal to L by 2. So here at x equal to L by 2, you will get maximum deflection. Which is center of the beam. So then substitute that x equal to l by 2. Then you will get deflection maximum here. W by 12. Wherever x l by 2, l by 2 power cube minus w l by 16 into l by 2 x square. So, so simplify this one. W by 2 2 2 2 4 8. So, which is so after simplifying, it will becomes ninety six l cube, and again w l by sixteen into four, sixty four times, and again l square into l becomes l cube. So, substitute. So, simplify this value by using your calculator. Why? Because in the semester examination, calculator is also allowed. so simplify direct this directly this value by using your calculator then you will get the value of after simplifying you will get directly minus wl cube by 192 okay that is ei y max and again simplify this equation that is y max will be equal to y max will becomes minus wl cube by 192 ei so this negative sign indicates negative sign indicates deflection downwards means downward deflection so therefore slope of uh, the deflection of a fixed beam carrying maximum deflection of a fixed beam carrying point load the center is y max equal to minus wl cube by 192 ei so this is the value so this is the value and again we people know that uh, the deflection of a simply supported beam carrying a point load at the center will be equal to the deflection of a deflection of a simply supported beam carrying a carrying a point load at center equal to wl cube by 48 ei wl cube by 48 ei and the deflection of the fixed beam carrying a point load at the center will be equal to minus wl cube by 198 ei means the deflection of simply supported beam is four times the deflection of the fixed beam so you please remember this relation the deflection of a simply supported beam is 
four times that of the deflection of a fixed beam carrying a point load at the center so i hope you understand this lecture thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please like this video share it to your friends and subscribe our channel thank you so much